Richard, you can have your thing back. Has he been joyriding the tractor? <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Haven't seen you in a while. But you've been busy, we've both um, been busy. The house is almost done. Update? Yeah. Yeah? Take me for a spin. You've been in Sweden, haven't you? Like, dossing around, skateboarding everywhere? Yeah, I've been doing a bit of that. I've just know. been working, like yeah. always. Oh, yeah, don't give, <laughs> you've just been working. We've got a house update, and then gonna do a Bitcoin update, so that's interesting. Mobile update, the British Entrepreneur Club update, podcast update, studio update, we'll see it all, let's do it. Okay, so you'll see, you'll notice that all the cars are here, except the Porsche, because I hit a baby deer. Bruh. What happened? It's not like I chased it around the Cotswolds trying to kill the deer. I shoot all you bad deer! You run! I hate you! It just jumped out and it hit the Porsche and it damaged the front end. It wasn't too bad, but it's being fixed at the moment. I heard Bruno over there, he's by the house. But, um... He guard in the front door already. So, not everything's clean because there's a combine harvester going around. You heard it, you see it earlier. First world problems, yeah. Just churning out crap everywhere. Um, but yeah, got the Lambo here. The Jeep's here, got the convertible roof on. But the best thing that ever has arrived in this place already is this. This is a 50cc Mercosa, right? There's no fuel, the fuel ran out, but literally just, and off it goes, it's mad. And guess how much it was? 500 quid? 295 quid. Look at it, do a little B-roll of this. And I was like, I was like, it can't be this good for 300 quid. I was like, there's no way, right? What can you get for 300 quid? You can, like, fill up your car twice now. Like, literally, it's that bad. <laughs> so, I was like, if these are amazing, I'm gonna get four of them. And it showed up yesterday, I had a go on it. It's the best thing in the world, so I'm gonna buy four, three more. Mate, don't tell me there's no fuel in it then. There's no fuel in it. There's no fuel in it. Next time there will be. Got, got the 1299 Ducati that I use on the racetrack. If you're a bike person, um, you'll enjoy, you'll enjoy the, uh, the tire wear on the side there. Actually, I, I ended up so low on this bike that the foot pegs got scuffed. But I ended up so low, I ended up bending it over, and uh, that's got sort of scuffed there. I think I'll, I'll stick with this bad boy, yeah? But that, that, dude, that is more fun. In the forest, when we get four of those, oh my god, it's going to be mental. Can you hear the combine harvester? Mate, is that what it is? Can you hear it? Where is it? it sounds like a tornado. It sounds like it's it's over there. there. Yeah, it's literally, the house is surrounded by a farm. Like 300 or 400 acres of a farm. And the guy's called John, it's like 80. Got the 458 Spider in here. It's done 4,800 miles. It's like the most incredible thing ever. Now it's like all garaged up and stuff. I actually cleaned under the engine bay. Yes, yeah, so that's how sad I am. Like, this is why I've been I'm um, doing any videos with you, man, because I've been sitting here cleaning. <laughs> tough, tough life. Um, and then there's the old Porsche. I actually drove this because um, a lot of us have out my other car, and so I had, to, I had to drive that like last week, and it's um, the windows aren't working now. <laughs> All right, let's go see the house. Yep. Yeah, let's go. So it's not completely done, but compared to like last time, remember when we were really pulling the chimney out. Yeah. <laughs> it's changed a lot, so let's have a look. Lobby. Wow. The new stairs. Remember the quote I got for 70 grand for some yeah. stairs? These were like 16 or 17 or something. The old step. Like the, before and after. The step ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the kitchen. It's, it's not finished yet. I've still put these handles on. And we've got family coming over this weekend, so I need to get all done. But, all the mist is going to kill me. That's the bathroom being finished upstairs. This is loud. It's still loads of builders here, basically, isn't it? Well, the plumbers are finishing the bathroom at the moment. Electrics? Uh, no, just plumbing. Um, so this light is the same as the lobby lights. Uh, so it kind of runs all the way through. All right, this is our utility room, it's not finished. This is the crossfit gym, which is not finished. It's still a bit dusty. Really, you wait there. Um, but this will be done, like, in a week but not cleaning it on purpose because the, the cottage is still being finished and um, hopefully it'll be done by this weekend. Bruno has given you the tour, right? Yeah. Get in there, you. You've got the lobby and your kitchen side, utility gym, cottage, and then we go back over. Um, so this is our snug, which is like our evening living room. It's got a fireplace, 
It's much darker kind of like feel to it. At night it's really nice soft light. It's all lamps. Yeah, light. Yeah, really nice in the evening. And then this is our like living room in the day, which is much more like bright and airy. Uh, got the piano from the studio in London. Yeah, this is like the this is like the day children. I'm gonna put a projector up there. So in the evenings you can watch like big movies and stuff and it's like a hideaway look. Through here is it's like my sort of not an office, not the right word, but podcast studio, it's where I work basically. So all the work I ever do is basically in this room. It's actually not normally set up, but we're doing a podcast on Monday, aren't we? This is where we're gonna be doing all the videos. Vlogs, uh, podcasts, everything. Like Q and A's being here. The book wall's up, it's not finished yet, it's gonna go around a bit and a few more books outside. But yeah, this is it and we're set up because Monday we've got the first podcast back. Mm -hmm. You're actually producing it because Connor's away. Oh uh, yeah, Con this is Connor's podcast, not mine, so if, I, if it goes a bit pear-shaped you can just blame me, yeah? You can't hear anything. <laughs> <And> no sound <laughs> So how far away do you think you are from, like, still a few weeks away, yeah? Before moving in and... Uh, the bathroom should be done by the end of next week. I'm gonna go up there and have a look. You, get, you can see the view from there. Take shoes oh, off? No, no, there's the plastic down. Oh, okay. So you can go Booby trap, is it? A little bit easier than last time to get up. Underfloor heating. Right, update on everything else. Cup of tea first? Yeah. Alright, come. Cool. Mate. New kettle. Dude, actually, this is like gonna sound dumb, but you can change the temperature. On oh, the boiling point? Yeah. Like, <laughs> what is the point? Obviously, 100. Oh, you're not gonna do like a lukewarm cup of tea. It's my kettle. I need to get the milk out of the fridge. Do you wanna see the fridge? Sad. I'm aware. You can see in the fridge. <laughs> right, not only that, right? So you open it, normal fridge, whatever, right? But if you don't want to like open it properly, you can just go like this. You can just grab them out. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, isn't it? Forget those little nuggets in there. Oh. Don't get your hand caught in the cookie jar. Dude, actually, when you <laughs> when you first got here, this was half full, wasn't it? <laughs> Having like a comp for the last two, even though we've had like 25 already. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. It's good to be back. Do you know what's funny? Because I'm, I'm someone that ca I can't work unless everything's tidy. Yes. Are you the same? Yeah, so I'm a little bit like this, you know. Yeah, so like now this room's like completely done. I mean, it was tidy yesterday. Connor obviously came down and put everything together. But like, I just like making videos and stuff. And until everything's done, I just can't like do it like my brain's like distracted popped. and with like everything will work in the house i haven't been able to do it but news wise next tuesday the bitcoin documentary on channel 4 is out at 10 o'clock 10 p.m 10 p.m yeah so originally the documentary was called bitcoin a guide to cryptocurrency but the producers phoned me like two days ago and they said oh we've changed the title to bitcoin has the bubble burst and I was like, I was like, why have you changed it? It sounds like negative. And they were like, well, it's not a state, it's not a statement, it's a question. So actually I Googled it to see if any news had come out, because they asked me about doing press for it. Um, and I looked, I found an article from 2013, and it was on channel four, and it says Bitcoin has a bubble burst in 2013, same title. And I was like, why are you using the same title? For something that you wrote nine nine years ago, Channel Four did the same thing, and Bitcoin was a hundred dollars at that point, and that today it's like twenty four thousand. So like you, I was like, you're using the same title, Bitcoin as a bubble burst, as you were nine years ago. I'm like, why? Like it makes no sense. I was like, you want to be at the forefront of like people learning about it and being that one, but it, this is how early it is. They, everyone still wants to make clickbaity titles, you know? Bitcoin's crash, Bitcoin's dead, blah, blah, it's like died a million times. But they did an article nine years ago and they said as the bubble burst it was $100 and it went up to 68000 So if that repeats itself in nine years, we're all going to be absolute millionaires. Oh my God, yeah, she's... Right? So yeah, so that documentary is out on Tuesday next week. Um, and I think it's on all four, whatever their thing is online and stuff yeah. like that. Hopefully it's all good, comes across good. The Amica 365 Jimmy and King's Cross, uh, they've decided they want more rent. 
you're playing hardball with them or they're playing hardball with you or both. Not, not really. It's like it gets to a point where if it's not going to make any money, what's the point in doing it? Um, anyway, so we're still working on that. Randomly though, I went and saw another unit for Amica 365 in Sister in Cotswolds, which is like 10 minutes from here. When we were chatting earlier, I actually emailed an offer because uh, that's got a where it's got two warehouse units in one and so that means we could house you know the warehouse from Amica and have a gym next to it yeah and then obviously one side will be like a, uh, a gym a functional gym working and then people can come and see how big it is and how big theirs will be and then that's how they can like get their own Amica 365 franchise so that'd be exciting if that happened podcast podcast are back on Monday so we've got some cool guests lined up and now that this all this studio is ready to go, we and you're not even that far from here, uh, we'll be able to just make loads more videos, m- much more fun stuff. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. All that's out in the, the Cotswolds. Yeah, exactly. And then everything's accessible. Like get to the cars easy. You know, got that little motorbike. You can piss around on that. You know. <laughs> Games of tennis, yeah. Play tennis. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, just take it easy. Have a fun summer. Then Mobile, Mobile UK is. Uh, middle of next month uh, and then Mobile Europe London to Ibiza is next summer and that's like half sold out already that's going really well that's going to be a mega one because after this year there's no more Mobile UK it's just one Europe every year do you know actually someone tagged me in something yesterday right and someone's copied the name Modball they call it Modball Run and it's in India right actually just look can look at can we go on it that, dude, like, no, I never got an invite, right? But, <laughs> I was like, someone said, said it to me. And I was like, I was like, literally, they copied the Modball logo and put Modball Run, and they started a rally over there, like in India. I mean, like... Hey, gnarly. It's, that, that would be gnarly. I've been, I've been driven on Indian roads and it's chaos. But, I mean, the thing is, because in India, there's nothing, like, we can do about it, because, you know, obviously... It's copyrighted, trademarked, you know, but the amount of fake profiles on Instagram and then everyone copies the rallies and stuff like that. I mean, where does it end? Like, people are just going to move into my house. Well, uh, anyone who's got a message from someone that isn't me, like, I'm sorry, you know, have you got one? Mate, I keep on blocking people that say, is, they, they, I think that it's Russians. I don't sell anything to anyone. I think the, I mean, the only thing that I, I want to do, uh, the only thing I like to do is network with, like, incredible entrepreneurs other entrepreneurs that I think you know I admire and all that kind of stuff and that's why the British Entrepreneurs Private Members Club starting in January that's the only thing I'm, I'm going to do out of this channel really I mean the things that have come out of it like like the Channel 4 documentary that's all cool and stuff but you know for me it's like the podcast I only do the podcast to meet people that I admire and learn from them and that's what the British Entrepreneurs Club is since we talked about on the last vlog there's been a lot of people apply mm-hmm. A message me saying oh, I've applied blah 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 um, but I'm not they've all been saved but I'm not going to go through them and start accepting until like October mid-October so anyone that's applied uh, I will get back to everybody but it won't be till about October in January I'll accept more members so anyone who wants to apply for the British Entrepreneurs Club link below make sure you do it as soon as you can read through everything um, and people start getting accepted in October. Uh, and lastly, my Bitcoin investment, Bitcoin Ethereum investment, is is pretty much where it was originally. So it went from one up to two and a half, down to like 700k, and then now it's sitting about sitting back at about where it was, give or take. I don't I don't leave on BlockFi anymore after what's been going on. You know, you just never know. I talked to BlockFi actually um, the other day. I spoke to them. And they're, they're all cool. Every, there's no there's no issues, but it's not worth it, it's not enough interest. So yeah, that's like, that's the update. My little sisters are f- flying in from Australia today and my missus, her family from Switzerland have just come over today as well. And we're hosting everyone on Sunday. So trying to get everyone ready. You're gonna go and try and find this combine harvester? Matt, I'm gonna go and find that, co- I'm gonna take it for a joyride. <laughs> I spoke to John the farmer. He said that we could drive. He said we have to practice in his car park thing. But practice? Yeah, he's not going to just let you out there. So as long as we practice and prove to him that we can do it, we can go. Well, it, I mean, like, listen, just put Patrick in that little, like, that little, like, Mario Kart. Moment. Like, next time we do a vlog, hopefully there'll be four of those, yeah, and we can go around the forest and just absolutely tear it up. All right. See you on the next one.